So, David, you've been critical of this kind of management culture and this industrialization of healthcare. But I suppose a lot of people would naturally think things tend to get better when they become subject to the kind of discipline of manufactured processes. I'm conscious of things like the Averind Eye Clinic, which in India, which has been highly efficient at dealing with problems of the eyes by breaking down the process, working through with hundreds of people very quickly, working out the problem, solving it efficiently, bussing people for eye surgery and bussing them back to their villages. These approaches around some problems seem to be very um, effective. So what is the problem of a more automated approach to healthcare? The problem with automation, mass management of healthcare, um, is, I would say, very selective. In other words, I do not make this criticism about all things. I think that what you're talking about works very well for things that are technology dependent. So, for example, the um, cataract surgery in India, or cataract surgery in the UK, certainly, um, is a very procedural, technology-dependent healthcare intervention. And you can use this kind of mass management, uh, this kind of remic, if you like, very well with what I call structural physical illnesses. But it does not work for pastoral health care, where individual considerations are quite as important, often more important, than the things that we know generically for the group. So the problem with that kind of mass management is that it drives out the art of medicine, the art of medical practice, which is about understanding this person in this situation now that is different from others who might have the same complaint technically defined. That's the art of medicine. What we have in common, mass management, is the science of medicine, but the art of medicine about how do we engage with this person now. That is the art of medicine and that is what is perishing in healthcare now with REMIC, with our mass management. 